uh, hi everyone and welcome back welcome to uh, this playlist where i'm covering more about javascript like miscellaneous topics tips and tricks javascript objects array cloning all the different different topics i'm covering about javascript and if you are just learning javascript then it is going to help you very much in terms of understanding the core concepts of javascript okay last week i was not able to publish any video because i was traveling and i was not able to follow up on my different playlist which i'm covering like one is for data structure and algorithm and another is javascript uh, tips and tricks a lot of uh, next days and all okay so i'm starting back again and in this video we are going to talk about javascript tips and tricks so these are some uh, simple javascript tips and tricks which we are going to talk about like is true right so in javascript if you are writing empty quotes zero null undefined all these are considered as a false right so how can you make a condition true if this is falsy you can add a negation so whatever is your condition if you are putting negation against zero then it will make it as a true okay similarly i mean in the same case if you wanted to put it for the one then it will just make it as a false this is the basic thing right now this will actually make it false now if you do the same thing for double negation then it is nothing but it will return as false okay so these are like different conversions you can do uh, in javascript like here we are converting number into a boolean right so now next thing is primitive type conversion like sometimes you wanted to convert a string to a number number to a boolean number to a boolean you can do like this a string to a number right so this value of any primitive variable this is considered as a valid number right so how you can convert it like let x we have it's a 24 and if i wanted to convert this into number i also have this vs code uh, i mean console available and what we can do is uh, we can actually try these examples here let x equal to consider that i have number which is 100 All right when i do plus x what it will give me it will give me the numeric value and if you do the negation of zero it will always give me the false right now if we see that we have i have an array right how can i create a okay i already have used this so i will use y instead of x right so y dot slice if i do minus one then it will give me the last value which is five if you pass zero then you actually you can actually get the complete array again okay you wanted to get a new array altogether let y1 then you can do is a triple dot y right you will get a new array out of it right so these are some basic uh, things for the conversions now we can also talk about converting an object into an array so consider that let uh, let me type here and we'll come back there so consider that you have an object an object has these properties now how can you get the keys values and entries right so there is already a method object dot keys right it will give you all the keys in this object which is x and y values 10 and 70 entries it will give you an array of key value pairs okay now if you wanted to convert object into an array then you can also try another another method which is array dot prototype dot slice dot call so what you can do is this is array dot prototype dot slice dot call and pass this argument which is z1 right this is how you will get an array output having only values so value is 10 and 70 
this is just another way of converting object values into an array <clears throat> okay coming to uh, next points is about uh, what all different values what all different type of destructuring we are doing how to extract the values from an array how to actually create a copy of uh, how to merge two objects how to create a copy of an object using spread operator object dot assign these are some kind of a common concepts which are more popular like if you wanted to merge two objects right what you will do is you will write var x sorry let x okay here you have an object which has some properties like is 60 and here you have let y which is having another property 90 right now you wanted to create a new object out of it then you can do object dot assign okay create a new object and pass both the objects x comma y so it will have the properties from the both the objects or you can also do let and you can actually spread about these objects triple dot x comma triple dot y okay this is also how you can concat the arrays so i mean it can be an array also like if you wanted to create a new array and if you already have a two existing array then this is the first one first array comma z z dot 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 x2 x1 and x2 both are array so you can actually get a third array which is a concatenation of i'm using sometimes z and sometimes war and sometimes let let's keep it let only so you have created a new array which is a concatenation or merge of the two existing arrays so there are there are a lot of shorthands or short tricks in an array methods like array dot slice array dot splice or in array how you can concat them array dot flat method which is actually used to do a flattening of nested arrays okay now array dot is array so this method is also more popular array dot uh, from so this array dot is array what it does it actually checks a particular variable is an array or not sometimes we have to identify that is it representing an object or an array because when you do type of type of array or object both will give you same right if you, if you do type of this or this both are objects how you identify so to identify that array dot is array is a method so what all other methods we have on array prototype these all methods are available so array dot is array array dot length name of from array dot from is actually give will give you the array values from a collection of iterable entry entries so consider that i want to create an array out of iterable elements right so this is how you can use array dot from array dot of all these methods are available right similarly array dot from array dot is array array dot length these are the basic methods we have and in interesting point about an array if you see that i created an array that s this is an array and you wanted to actually remove the elements from an array so s dot length you can just put zero now if you just say x now is an empty right so this array by setting the length you will actually end up emptying that array so the value will be empty now okay so this is how we actually do this like identifying an array is an array or not using array dot is array merging the objects using spread operator or also removing a particular element like if you if you were asked to remove a particular property and return the existing i mean return the new object so syntax will be something like this so there is x and rest all the arguments you wanted to put in a, a new array object like okay i have some object data here okay so you wanted to just remove the first element rest you wanted to put in the remaining object so rest will be the remaining object properties x property will be removed from it this is also very important when you wanted to remove a particular property from an object this is a useful shorthand merging of an object it is same as the spread operator which is same as the object dot assign okay so these are some short tricks and uh, 
do, 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 what else we can talk here in terms of short tricks is so, so let's uh, write one simple method which is talking about array uh, flattening of elements right so consider that you have an array okay which is having deep nesting I mean there is already a predefined method but how can we write it and what I want output is I want one two three output should be one two three five six seven four five six something like this right so this is called array flattening right so you can write a method or array dot so let's see is there any method so consider that if I wanted to write a particular utility right so in that case I can write a some law custom logic of myself that will be just iterating onto the array elements and will be helping me so I can write function flatten array because we are actually trying to flatten an array element okay so what we will do is const flatten it is doing nothing but it is concating so this is my existing array and it is doing concat of this array okay and what I am returning is so here the flattened I mean this is my flattened array what I will do is I will just loop on to this using array.sum I will iterate on every item I will check if this item is an array or not if item this is an array this particular item if this is an array then I have I have to just trigger a condition okay just call this again flatten array so it's a recursive call otherwise you can also use the existing utility method uh, array dot flatten infinity so that will take care of in depth flattening of an array flattened okay otherwise you can just set flattened okay this is a simple way of uh, flattening an array deep nested array okay similarly other, there are other short tricks which you can use sometimes what happen is you actually check some condition like function hello sometimes you check condition like if this is there then only execute this function right these things you can actually simply do if x is there then say hi right this is also simple way and while passing the spread argument like I have, I have written this function and I'm passing some spread operator like name here you can write uh, some function also which is giving you the value like I want to have this function always having the name property being passed right so I what I what I'm doing is I created one method that is required okay what it is doing is it is just checking if the element is not there and we have to throw an error throw a new error this is required right now here in hello name I can just say is required the same function name we can just pass here so this value is required here okay similarly there are other short tricks available while calling the methods now you have to uh, pass this name property otherwise you will just get that this is mandatory parameter okay so while writing these array objects and uh, functions there is always a uh, different short tricks which you can use now we have these spread or spread operator and rest parameters these are helpful to do a lot of things in the easier way okay now you might have you might remember like we are creating an object something like this object dot create null this is a simple way of creating a pure object 
if I just open this we'll talk about it what is the difference between this let x1 object dot create and if you are passing null so this is you are actually creating a pure object x1 you see it doesn't have any proto because this is a pure object it is not referencing to anything because you are creating this object from null but if you are just creating this object using like x3 and you are creating empty curly braces then x3 if you try to print then it is pointing to the proto right so if you do x3 dot underscore underscore proto you will get the value right but when you further do it because now it will point to a null right so by default when you are creating the object like this object dot create it will always points to nothing x1 is a pure object but when you are creating the object something like this object dot create from an existing object like this was some existing object then x1 will reference to that now this proto of this object is pointing to this right proto is pointing to the uh, the object of this proto and then it is pointing to the object proto capital o object proto and then it is null so if you just try to do x1 dot underscore underscore proto you will get the value underscore underscore proto you will also get the value right now if you do underscore underscore proto you should get null right so this is how we are actually creating the proto chain that's why from uh, created object you are able to access the properties of the previous object like this simple example is you are creating so consider like I have C1 is an object and I have A assigned as a 70 right here I am creating a new object from C1 right so I created X1 so X1 dot A I am still able to access it right but A is, A is not a property which resides on X1 X1 is trying to access it from its proto right if you see X1 is empty but when you go inside the proto you can see A so X1 dot A when it's try to find it out it will actually traverse to the proto chain and now it is able to find the element okay this is how we are actually traversing the proto chain and how we can get rid of it i mean we can actually use shell copy using object.assign at the parent level so the reference will not be attached okay so this is how we are creating the object so we already talked about all these different object uh, methods object.create object.assign define property define properties keys values has on properties and all object.hazon property will tell you that this object particular object properties belongs to this or not so if i have x1 okay x1 i created let's see what object we have created x1 so has on property here we can see a particular property like a which is false that is true right because a property doesn't belongs to x1 this is inherited property from the existing c object c1 object right okay so this is all about tips and tricks we there are many short tricks which helps us to write javascript code quickly okay thanks everyone